Hey everybody, Chris Pettit here with First 15 Live. Glad to have you on here. Uh, here at First 15 Live, we're all about one thing, making spending time with God every day go viral. So um, we're about to dive into uh, how we sometimes reject God. So if uh, um, you can see there, I've got the, the verse. With the verse, I've put a, a, a video that you can enjoy some worship time with. And also there's a link to our group. If you want to be a part of our partner group, um, you're going to want to jump on that Thursday night. Uh, so not uh, so tomorrow night at 8 p.m., um, we're going to do a, um, a video with me and Sonny again on that partner group. So it's private, uh, and we'll have some private uh, devotion material there for that group. So uh, if you're interested in being part of that, uh, please go join that group. The link's there. And also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, all these videos go straight to YouTube, too. So um, that will help us out big time. So um, sorry that we're running a few minutes behind today. Go ahead and share if you haven't shared. Uh, good morning, Jason and Miss Tammy and Elise and Leela and Mom. And uh, if you have any um, prayer requests, drop them in. I'd love to pray for you. So. All right. Go ahead and share, share, share if you haven't yet. And let's dive right in. So um, here's the verse, 1 Thessalonians 4, 7 and 8. And it's kind of a strongly worded direct verse here. Um, so um, it says this, For God has not called us for the purpose of impurity, but in sanctification. So he who rejects this is not rejecting man, but the God who gives his Holy Spirit to you. Mm. Good morning, Pam and Gail and Michelle and Katrin. Leela got your prayer request and Mom uh, got yours as well. Elizabeth, glad to have you on here. So let me read it again because this is pretty straightforward, right in your face verse. God has not called us for the purpose of impurity, but in sanctification. So he rejects this. Uh, so he who rejects this is not rejecting man, but the God who gives his Holy Spirit to you. So you might be rejecting God and not even know it. And let me explain to you what this verse is really talking about. Good morning, Margaret and Timothy. Um, it's 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 not talking about just sin, right? Like if you sin, you're rejecting God. That's not the point of this verse, um, because we all sin, right? And so sin itself is not rejecting God. What he's saying is we're not called for the purpose of sin, but for the purpose of sanctification, right? And so the issue is not whether you sin or not. The issue is, are you being sanctified? And what that means is you're in a process, and God's developing you, and he's working that sin out of your life. Uh, and when you disengage from that process, that's when you reject God. So we all have issues that we're working on. The question is, are you working on them? So if you're living, if you've got a sin issue, and you don't have an accountability partner and somebody who's helping you walk through that process, well, guess what? You're not rejecting man. You're not rejecting, um, you know, that friendship or that relationship. You're actually rejecting God. Good morning, Danielle. You're rejecting God's plan for your life. You're rejecting how God wants to develop and work in you. Does that make sense? And so that's what God's saying here is you're not you're not rejecting man. You're rejecting God. When God says, "Hey, I want you to, you know, if you want to be healed of your sin, I'll forgive you of your sin if you repent. But if you want to be healed, what do you got to do? You got to confess your sins to one another, right?" And so the question is, are you on the process to sanctification? Because that's, um, that's what you were called to. You were called to sanctification. Now, we're all going to have impurities in our life. But what he's saying is, when you make your purpose impurity, or you can say it this way, when you reject the sanctification process, you're actually making impurity your purpose. And so some of you, it feels like your life, your purpose is impurity. Like, I, well, I struggle, I keep going, I, I do good, and then I fall, I do good, and I fall, I do good, and I fall. And that's kind of your deal. And uh, listen, God has called you to sanctification. You can walk out that process. You need to engage that process. Get some help. Uh, get get a, a strong brother or sister in the Lord who can walk you through whatever it is you're battling. And uh, just trust God in that. Because, um, and that's the good news. If you're on the process, it's not about how good or bad you are. Okay? It's whether you're moving forward or not. All right? So if you are a, a crack addict, but you're moving this way, you know, you might still smoke weed, but you, you stop smoking crack, great. 
God's sanctifying you. He's moving you that way. But if, uh, but if you're a believer who loves Jesus and now you're headed this way, maybe you didn't smoke weed and now you're smoking weed, you know, like, like I'd rather be the crack addict moving this way than, than the believer moving backwards. Does that make sense? And so sanctification is the process God's called you to. Good morning, Terry. Um, and when you don't engage in that process, you are rejecting God uh, because that's God's plan for your life. So let's engage in the sanctification process. Can we do that? Come on, thumbs up today. Let's engage. God, what are you trying to teach us? Uh, you know, help me, God. With whatever sin I'm battling, God, help me to keep moving forward. Amen? Lindo, glad to have you on here. All right, let's pray. Father, um, I pray for uh, the prayer request that we got coming in here. Lord, I pray for Leela. Um, I pray for her cousin, God, that you would just um, touch... Uh, Touch him right where he's at, God, and, and, and convict him, draw him close to you, save him, God, even right where he's at. Lord, I pray for my brother's best friend, uh, Thomas, Lord, for his family, God, as they've just lost his father. I pray that you, you would pour out your spirit on them, God, be with them, comfort them, and, and be a light right where you're at. In the name of Jesus, I pray for healing in Greg and Miss Cindy, God, and Miss Anita and Miss B, uh, right where they're at. Lord, encourage them, strengthen them, Father, financially bless them. And Lord, I pray for everybody watching this, God, that um, we wouldn't just, Lord, live in our sin, God, that we wouldn't just make excuses. But, Father, we would engage in the sanctification process because that's the process you've called us to, God. That's the purpose that you've called us to. And we pray, God, that we wouldn't reject you any longer, God, or your purpose for our life, God, but we would give in. 100% to the growth that you have in us. We're not going to be perfect tomorrow, God, but you're going to keep uh, drawing us and taking us to that next level. And we thank you for that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hey, I love you. Um, don't forget to share this video if you haven't done that yet. That's huge because that helps us make spending time with God every day go viral. And that's the vision. So um, you can also help out by um, joining our partner group. Um, the link's there with the verse uh, in the comment that I posted on the video. And also, there's a link to our YouTube channel. Please go and subscribe to that. We'd love for you to do that. and You can get those right in there. That's right, Leela. World changers, baby. And you're right, Joshua. Uh, that progress is so important. So, uh, hey, listen. Go change the world today. Encourage somebody. Pray for somebody. And watch what God does in your life. Go change the world, world changer. Love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, 630.